I just made a main channel video and coming from doing that to doing this kind of feels like, okay, time to relax, make a cup of tea, put your worst pair of underwear on, it's time to chill. Welcome to my April favourites, here are the favourites of the things. First up, clothes. There was a Topshop sale, <sighs> so I bought myself a blazer. I'm trying to sort of equip myself for my life and my future, so you know, like blazer. I can wear a blazer in the future. It's got these cool little diamond pattern things on it. It looks kind of 60s, I think. This kind of a 60s, whoa! kind of a 60s vibe going on in Topshop right now in some parts of it and I really like it so yeah this blazer which I got in a 10 to be oversized which was kind of a mistake um, because it's quite baggy anyway but it still looks good in my opinion and it's still in the sale right now I think so if you want a saucy 60s blazer go there's also a Miss Selfridge sale and I know I haven't worn this dress yet but it's definitely being included in my favorites because it's just beautiful it's a work of art like you can see I haven't worn it because the label is still on but um it's just because I haven't found the right occasion to wear it but I'm definitely still counting this as a favorite um it has these insane sleeves which is why I'm having problems wearing it because <laughs> you can't really wear it just for anything well you could do but I don't know it's interesting. It looks like a wedding dress from the 60s, like for someone who was trying to be like a non-traditional bride or something. It's like a dusky pink and it's got this nice um, bodice area, like it's really flattering for your boobs. It's quite long, it's nice and long and flowy. It um, comes to just above my knee, uh, but I'm quite short, so there is that. And this isn't from like a petite range or anything. But yes, I love this dress so much. Um, I'm not gonna put it on now. I'll show you a little Instagram picture of me wearing it so you can see what it looks like on, but yes. Good dress, good. These favorites aren't fashion related. Well, they are, they're clothes, but it's stuff for the gym and for running. I know this is ridiculous and shallow and stupid, but when I have cute working out clothes, I am much more motivated to work out. I'm just, I, I don't have anything as well that's that comfortable. So it is about comfort, but I also just wanna like wear cute clothes. <laughs> I got this pale blue running top, um, Nike or Nike, however you say it, is where I got these from. Um, it's really, really soft and nice, and yeah, it's just a really nice fabric, and it feels really nice to run in. And then I also got from the same place um, some little shorts. They have a strange crotch area, which is unfortunate, but I assume no one, I hope no one's staring at my crotch while I'm running. Um, but yeah, they just look like this. They just come to like sort of mid um, thigh and they're really comfortable and I can't remember what they're called. So that's really helpful, but yeah, gym stuff. I went on a little sunglasses kick. Like when the sun first came out, I got way too excited about it. Um, I've got this pair, which are from Topshop. The reason I'm covering up this lens was because I spilt like hair something on it, like hair gel, so it looks really horrible. Oh, look at it. But yeah, um, these are from Topshop and they look insane on me, but I really like them anyway. I got these from TK Maxx. I was just having a little browse on a sunny day when I'd forgotten my sunglasses and yeah. I bought these, I really like them. I don't think any sunglasses really suit me, um, but I wear them anyway. And then these, poor sad pair, were my absolute favorites, but they're missing a thing, a thing thing. You know what I'm trying to say, an arm, they're missing an arm. Um, they were from Punky Fish in Camden. I was in there killing some time while I was waiting for my friend Honey and I just went, these are awesome, so I bought them in like a fiver. Um, and now they're broken. <laughs> Whenever I buy a necklace, I usually buy a kind of statement-y piece. You might not think this is that statement-y, but um, I go through necklace phases, so I'll buy one and I'll wear it solidly for weeks and weeks and weeks, and that's what I am doing with this one right now. So yeah, this is from Topshop. Surprise, surprise. When I was picking that up, I also bought this really, really cute little uh, bracelet. It's a really delicate little gold arrow bracelet, and the arrow curves around your arm, and it's really cute. I don't know if I've spoken about this before. I really hope I haven't, because that would be so embarrassing. But yeah, I got the Too Faced Boudoir Eyes collection. I love Too Faced. They are cruelty free. They make amazing eyeshadow. This one is called a Soft and Sexy Eyeshadow Collection. And it's just really nice colors. I use all of them, actually. Um, some of them are duplicates of the ones I already have in other palettes, but I can't stop buying their palettes. Can't stop, won't stop. They're amazing. And they're like 20 quid, so they're not cheap but I definitely think they're worth the money. Um, and they have so many that I think there's one for everybody. So if you're in the market for a little new eyeshadow palette, I would really, fuck, ow. Okay, now I don't recommend this anymore because it's turned against me, little devil. A little solid perfume from Lush. Um, it's called Lust, which is a bit of a strange name, something that's so light and floral. They're like this, you just push them up. Um, and I think they're a fiver. I think they're really, really good. Um, because they have good scents and they last for a long time. You sort of melt them onto yourself. Um, and yeah, this one smells like jasmine. 
and I'm quite massively obsessed with jasmine and I just think it's really, really nice. I have been using the Soap and Glory Fab Pore Hot Pop, Hop, fuck. <laughs> The Soap and Glory Fab, the Soap and Glory Fab Pore Hot Cloth Cleanser. Yes, motherfucker. Um, so I've actually used up quite a lot of it, as you can see, in just a month, which is unfortunate because I'm gonna have to repurchase it. But I've just, it's really good. I, other people have raved about this online, which is why I bought it. Um, and I just think it's so good. Um, I don't always use it with the cloth because I'm lazy, but when I do, it just feels amazing. I usually take off my makeup with a wipe first. I don't really like using cleansers to take everything off. Um, I'll take my makeup off with something else and then, or like sometimes I use a moisturizer or something from Lush, um, and then I use this afterwards to sort of really get in there and get rid of everything. And it's just the best. I would really recommend it. If you've been trying lots of things and you can't, work out something that's good for your skin. Like this won't necessarily be amazing for your skin, obviously I can't promise that, but um, this has been really, really helping with my skin. Really, really, really. Last, but most certainly not least, I usually use a combination of three different perfumes, um, usually not at the same time, but like I usually have Angel, um, Alien, and Le de Issy by Issy Miyake. Never know if I'm saying that right, but they brought out a limited edition version of Le de Issy. Um, for this year, which is called something, Absolu. Um, and I bought it, it's in a little gold bottle. Normally the bottles are silver. It's just, I love it so much. It's like the regular one, but it's more of a, I think it's more of a like, summery kind of light fruity smell, um, or like not fruity, floral, whatevs. I don't know what's going on. It's kind of jasmine-y actually, and I love jasmine so much. It just smells so fresh and nice. Um, so yeah, these are quite expensive. I can't remember how much this cost. Probably like 30 quid or 40 quid, I don't know. It's ridiculous. Perfume, man, perfume. But um, I love it, and I'm really sad that it's limited edition. I think it's out for the whole year though. So I'm gonna go get another bottle of this before the year is out. So those are my April favorites and I hope you enjoyed them. Another favorite is this jumpsuit that I'm wearing right now, which I only bought yesterday, but I don't care. It's my favorite, I love it. It's my child. Um, it like clinches in at the waist here. This is a really attractive angle that I'm doing this at. Um, and yeah, it's kind of baggy up here and it's baggy on the bottom. And I just think it's the best thing ever, especially for like going on holiday in the summer. It's gonna be so good. And it's from Topshop and it was 60 pounds and it's still in stock. I got it for 54 because of my student discount. Still a ridiculous amount of money to spend on a jumpsuit, but I don't care. So those are my favorites, bye.